Hello everyone, my name is Maureen Ola Williams. I am your special educational needs teacher. Welcome to the world of special educational needs. Today on the learning difficulty, we are diving into an important topic that affects many people but isn't always talked about, this graph here. Whether you're a student, a parent, or just curious, this video will give you a clear understanding of what this graph here is, how it affects writing and learning, and what strategy can help. Let's get started. So what exactly is this graph here? This graph here is a specific learning difficulty that affects writing skills, making handwriting, spelling, and even organizing thoughts on paper very challenging. It is important to know that dysgraphia is not related to intelligence. People with dysgraphia often have normal or above average intelligence. Dysgraphia is believed to be related to differences in the way the brain processes and produces written language. These can affect several aspects of writing, including physical act of writing, like holding a pencil or forming letters, as well as cognitive aspects like organizing ideas and so many others. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of dysgraphia? People with dysgraphia often struggle with 1. Illegible handwriting 2. Difficulty with spelling 3. Difficulty organizing thoughts or putting ideas into writing 4. They have problems with their fine motor skills like holding a pencil or a pen 5. They have trouble with grammar and pronunciation 6. They have difficulty with word spacing and merging. 7. Struggling to write on a straight line is always an issue. Number 8. Mixing up similar looking letters or numbers and many more. Keep in mind that everyone experiences this difficulty to some degree, but individuals with dysgraphia face significant challenges that impact their daily life. If you suspect someone or might have dysgraphia, it is important to seek a professional evaluation from educational psychologists or special educational professionals who will assess writing skills, motor abilities, and cognitive processes. This professional will use a variety of tests and observations to understand the specific challenges. Now, let's talk about some strategies and support that can help manage dysgraphia. One, assistive technology. Tools like speech-to-text software or word processors with spell check can be very helpful. Two, writing aids. Using specialized paper with line guides or pencil grip can make handwriting easier. Number three, structured breaks. Frequent breaks can help manage fatigue and frustration. Number four, organizational tools like graphic organizers can help in structuring thoughts before writing. Five, alternative formats, allowing oral presentation or using audio recording instead of written assignments can be very effective. For teachers and parents, here are some few additional tips. You must, number one, encourage practice. Two, be very patient with individuals that are having this challenge. Three, focus on their strengths rather than their weakness. Number four, create a supportive environment. This graph here is more than just a writing challenge. It is a unique perspective, a creative superpower waiting to be unleashed because individuals with dysgraphia are multi-talented they have great artistic ability. They are so good with public speaking and storytelling. They are fantastic in architecture and engineering. They have musical talent and they are very good at analyzing complex information and evaluating evidence. They are also creative thinkers with great sense of humor and empathy. In fact, their talents are countless. 
This Gryphia might challenge an individual's writing, but it is not a touch of their creativity. It does not affect their talent. It is a chance to think outside the box. Now, if you know someone battling with this, encourage them to embrace their creativity and this graphia will become their superpower. This graphia might challenge an individual's writing, but it does not touch their creativity. It is not a limitation. It is a chance to think outside the box. Now, if you know someone or anyone battling with this, encourage them to embrace their creativity and this graphia will become their superpower. For every struggle has a silver lining. Thanks for joining us today to learn about this graphia. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. You have questions or personal experience to share? Drop in comment below. I'd love to hear from you. See you next time in our video. Bye.